<laughs> Hi, I'm Sue Resick, and guess what we're fixing tonight? We're fixing cauliflower rice into the dish tabbouleh. Tabbouleh is a Middle Eastern dish with lots of flavor. It's traditionally made with uh, wheat bulgur, which is cracked wheat grains, and it would have cucumber in it. Well, of course, in Gerson. We're not eating wheat, and we're not eating cucumbers, but we're going to make some tasty substitutions in this recipe. So we're starting out with the uh, riced cauliflower that if you've seen my other video I show you how to make you can grate it or do it in your food processor. This is a lot. This is about five cups of cauliflower. It was almost the whole head. I didn't use the whole thing. I'm saving some more for another dish. But that we start with that and then these other ingredients I'm going to substitute celery for the cucumber because it's it's moist and crisp just like a cucumber. We won't get the flavor but we'll get the nice texture with it. We're going to use a few green onions some parsley, some mint, this is nice fresh mint, and I've got tomatoes, and then the dressing is a lemon juice over that. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this whole stalk of celery, and, and you know me, what's my rule of thumb? If we're putting into something small, I have to cut it small, don't I? Yeah, I don't like big chunks of stuff in my fine salads, so. Get that cut in vertical, and then I'm going to come through the other way. And like I've said before, I know I could have this all done ahead of time, but we like hanging out together, and I figure this is relaxing to watch someone else work, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of pleasant just to hear the knife going through, a little crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of like when you hear people walking through the crunchy snow in the winter. So there, we got half a stalk. And you know what, we may decide we want more in there. This is one of these recipes that's not, you know, you don't have to put in certain amounts. It's really by your taste and by your eye. We'll keep going. Parsley. I find a nice ratio of parsley to mint is twice as much parsley to mint. So we're going to cut this parsley up and see how much we have. And then we'll know how much mint to cut up. I don't want it too minty. I don't know, maybe you like it minty. Mint's not my favorite seasoning, my favorite herb, but it's, it's nice for something different. You know, it's easy to get bored with the Gerson food just because we have a lot of the same things. So it's important, I find, to sometimes eat something that isn't your favorite thing to eat. It just gives you variety. You might be surprised. Your taste buds might be ready for a, a new flavor. And then when you go back to what you're used to eating, it tastes good to you because you've had the variety. So every so often, eat something that isn't your favorite thing to eat, and you'll be surprised at how much more pleasant your meals seem. There we go. So that's a good bit of parsley. Let's see how much that is. It's like a little over a quarter cup. Yep, just about a quarter cup. So I'll put that in. And I'm going to do two tablespoons of mint. And I don't want the stems in the mint. You know what's neat about mint? If you didn't know this, any, any plant that comes from the mint family has a square stem. I think that's neat. So you can tell when you're looking at something from the mint family, like, like basil or peppermint or spearmint, wintergreen, I believe wintergreen is a mint. I'm not sure on that one but they have uh, square stems, which I think is kind of nifty. So I'll just chop this up. And I did all pre-wash all this before I started. And you know what else tastes good with mint? Watermelon. Watermelon salad with a little mint in it. Mmm, very tasty. Put a squeeze of lemon over that, and you got a nice salad. Nice, refreshing summer salad. There we go. Now, I don't want too much. I may not use all of that. There, that's plenty in my book. Because <laughs> it's, cause it's not my favorite. You can put more in if you want. And I may put more in after I taste it. I just am, am being conservative, okay? 
and it's nice to have tomato. Tabbouleh traditionally has tomato in it. Look at that. I'm getting green mint all over everything. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll use another part of my, my cutting board. Oh, my knife must be getting a little dull. It doesn't want to go. Let me try this one. There we go. That's the difference between a sharp knife and a dull knife, is getting through a tomato skin. It's kind of a test. Even that one could use a little sharpening. There we go. Oops, I don't want the core. Well, I've had people who watch my videos comment that if I can do it, they figured they could do it. I don't quite know if that's a compliment or not, but I'm glad to know that if I'm doing it helps you, that's a good thing. I enjoy making these videos for you, and I, it pleases me to know that it's helping somebody. Oh, that one's getting pretty soft, isn't it? I'm going to turn it over. I think I want more tomato in there. What do you think? It looks a little light on the tomato. I enjoy cooking. When I used to come home from work and I was tired, I'd actually cook to help me unwind. It just was a pleasant thing. I enjoy the, the trimming, the washing prepping. And I'm much more of a cook than I am a baker. I'm not a baker. I can bake, but it's, I don't enjoy it like I enjoy cooking. There we go. That looks better. It just needed more. It needed more color. That's how I knew. It needed more color. I think my tomato is too soft is what it is. These tomatoes have uh, traveled a bit. They went to vacation with us and then came back. So they've, they're well traveled and they're a little, little worn out. They'll still taste good. We'll eat them up. All right. I'll go clean up my mint mess. So what's left to go in? Our lemon. That's going to be our seasoning. And you could use a little vinegar if you wanted instead of lemon. I know people with um, connective tissue disease are supposed to avoid citrus fruit. Dr. Gerson found that it was inflammatory for people with connective tissue issues. very much. I might need another lemon, but let's do what we've got here now. Oh, you know what would be good in there is lime, too. I bet lime would be good. Oops. I have to get closer for the cord. Hmm, that's pretty. Yes, I would definitely put some more lemon in there, or maybe, like I said, lime. You'd have to taste it, but lemon would be more traditional. But I don't want to take the time now while you're watching, so I'm going to put the juice of another lemon on that. Let's take a little bite, see how it is right now. It looks good. tasty. And you know what? I'm not going to put more lemon in. That little bit was just enough to give a little flavor. I don't want it to taste just like lemon, so I'm glad I tasted it. There you go. All set. Some pretty tabbouleh. Ready for dinner, ready for lunch. That's something you can share with your family. This was 
a whole head of cauliflower. Obviously, if you're just fixing this for you, you wouldn't want to prepare that much. Maybe start with a quarter head of cauliflower. All right. Well, I hope you have a good dinner. I hope you try this. It'll be nice for this summer.